moas.org website, the Evangelistic Ministries of Anita Fuentes. This is the Frequently Asked Questions. Question number 13. Does Evangelist Pastor Anita Fuentes have a letter of good standing? The answer is yes. Anita at Ignacio Fuentes has an official letter of ordination declaration of good standing presented by Reverend Tony J. Marino of Christian Discipleship Ministry. Who is Tony Marino? Marino was a Republican candidate for Oregon House District 35 in 2008. Marino has a bogus PhD. Marino has an internet ordination business. Marino raped his 23-year-old daughter in 2008. Marino was sentenced to one year on incest charge in 2009. Anita paid con artist Marino $95 to get ordained to be your minister. Revelation 13.8 says, The names in the Book of Life were written before the foundation of the world by God himself. Con artist Anita Fuentes is playing God. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. Mark chapter 16, verses 17 and 18, lists five signs for the Church of Jerusalem to prove to the world that the Church of Jerusalem was from God. Cast out demons. Speak in new tongues. Pick up serpents with their hands. Drink deadly poison but are not hurt. Lay hands on the sick to heal. Why Anita picks only the sign, not for believers, but for unbelievers, as the evidence of baptism of the Holy Spirit? Thus tongues are a sign not for believers, but for unbelievers. While prophecy is a sign not for unbelievers, but for believers. Why did Anita's juicing give her newborn a dead body instead of a disease free body? Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Food will not commend us to God. We are no worse off if we do not eat and no better off if we do. Even Jesus couldn't preach in some villages because of their unbelief. And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. The Bible says, Jesus did not do many miracles because of their unbelief, not that he couldn't preach because of their unbelief. Did not do many miracles versus couldn't preach. Big difference. For many of you, you were on your way to a burning hell until God sent this woman on your computer, your TV screen or radio and helped bring you to salvation and to the Lord. Many of you are not far from heaven.
until Satan sent this Jezebel, Anita Fuentes, on your screens. Through con artist Tony Marino. The Bible says Jesus had a money bag with him wherever he went. The Lord's ministry was funded by the very ones who followed him and received from him on a daily basis. How dare Jezebel Anita liken herself to our Almighty God, Jesus Christ. Jesus did not carry a money bag. Anita lies. And he said to them, Take nothing for your journey, no staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics. Is Anita accusing Jesus of hypocrisy? Go to the sea and cast a hook and take the first fish that comes up. And when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Take that and give it to them for me and for yourself. Jesus commanded a fish to provide for himself and Peter, not from begging donations. I have been young and now am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. Our fellow brother, the Apostle Paul, was greatly supported in his work in preaching the gospel wherever he went. It's in the book, and you can read that for yourself. How dare Jezebel Anita mention the righteous Apostle Paul. Paul worked a day job to fund his gospel preaching. Paul voluntarily forfeited his rights to get his living by the gospel. We endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. I have made no use of any of these rights nor am I writing these things to secure any such provision, that in my preaching I may present the gospel free of charge. Tithing or offerings is your way of saying thank you, Lord, for this ministry, who has fed me and helped me to grow in you. Tithing and offerings are God's commandments for Israel to worship Yahweh and provide for the Levites who tended the temple. If you continue to receive here, yet give elsewhere, you're robbing God. You are refusing to support Satan by not giving to con artist Anita Fuentes, who is preaching a false gospel. The Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should receive their living from the gospel. Galatians chapter 6 verse 6 says, Be generous and do good. Let him who has taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. And 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 18 states, You must not muzzle an ox that is threshing grain, and the laborer is worthy of his wages. You can donate online. God moves people to provide for his chosen servants. But Anita Fuentes is a Jezebel preaching a false gospel for her luxurious living.
we currently have a 2016 monthly budget of approximately fifty thousand dollars we, we we don't get people who donate i'm not sure why I, I, it's probably for a number of reasons but i know i know that there's some who can donate we need your donations visit us today we need your donations visit us today father you know you delivered me radically i didn't have to pay a dime i didn't have to pay a dime now there's been this method that's been in place for the past few years by a gentleman by the name of uh, called the linden method <laughs> the linden method is supposed to um help you not experience that anymore living an anxiety free and panic attack free and obsessive compulsive disorder free and a gyrophobia i was asking the lord how this guy can be claiming this and you know, it seems to be successful in the world's eyes. And, you know, it seems to be successful in the world's eyes. And, and a lot of people's tried it. The system, I guess, is a little over a hundred bucks to try. And I'm like, wait a minute, Father. You know, you delivered me radically. I didn't have to pay a dime. I didn't have to pay a dime. I didn't have to pay a dime. Amen. Copeland's church takes in tens of millions a year through donations and selling books and DVDs to his donors. She sent them a lot of money, a, a whole lot of money. When Christy Parker's mother died of cancer, she found diaries that showed her mother sent Copeland most of her life savings, hoping her faith and donations would cure her of her terminal disease. What do you think of Kenneth Copeland's lifestyle? TV doesn't do it justice. Their office furniture is probably worth more than most people's houses. It makes you sick. I am your minister, Evangelist Anita Fuentes. I'll say it the way the Lord's called me to say it. I'll say it the way the Lord's called me to say it. The Bible does not preach or teach on a pre-tribulation rapture. The pre-tribulation rapture is a falsehood. It's going to lead to the great falling away. The Bible does teach a pre-tribulation rapture, and the raptured saints will return with Christ Jesus. The raptured saints, the 24 elders, are already in heaven with the Lamb before the first seal, which marks the beginning of the 70th week of Daniel, is opened. The Antichrist will war against the returning Jesus Christ and his raptured saints, as written in Revelation 17:14. They will make war on the Lamb, and the Lamb will conquer them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and those with him are called and chosen and faithful. If you have to make a decision to either take the mark of the beast or be beheaded, do you know what you're going to say? When they deliver you over, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say. For what you are to say will be given to you in that hour, and all who dwell on earth will worship it. Everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb who was slain. You see, God himself will guide his own to triumph over the great tribulation, even giving them the words to say. Oh, but I was always taught that I wasn't going to be here to have to make that decision. Really? Really? Anita is a con artist. She won't be in the rapture. Only those who are called, chosen, and faithful at the appearing of Christ will be raptured. Those with him are called and chosen and faithful. You're still preaching you're still preaching a pre-tribulation rapture when there are Christians getting beheaded right now? Abel was murdered. John the Baptist was beheaded. James the Apostle was killed by the sword. But all such tribulations are not the great tribulation of the 70th week of Daniel. The rapture happens before the great tribulation of Daniel's 70th week. Thus pre-trib. Rapture. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Such tribulation is not the great tribulation. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have tribulation. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. Such tribulation is not the great tribulation. Are you serious? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Deception already? My friends, 
it's here. The deception is already here. The bridegroom is coming. Ah, Anita. Ah, Anita. Ah, Anita. I carry my weapon, and it's loaded. It's loaded. There's a bullet right here. Got one in the chamber. It's loaded. I carry mine on me all the time. Anybody ever comes at me and wants to punch me in my face, and they do so, and they do it more than once, and I have my weapon, I will discharge it. I will discharge it. Nowhere in the Bible does it say to allow somebody to punch you in the face over and over again. Nowhere does it, d does it say that. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Always have your word with you. There's no excuse for you not to. So I'm glad we were able to provide. If you want me to sign it at the end, just catch up with me and I'll be more than happy to. We need your donations. I will discharge it.